you should talk to your doctor, healthcare provider, or veterinarian to see if any of these recipes, suggestions, or contents of these videos are right for you. Nothing contained in these videos are intended to be taken as medical advice. Use at your own risk. Welcome back to Optimize Health, where we're making easy, healthy, and delicious meals and giving you more information about why you might want to eat this way or a certain way. Um, today, I want to focus on keto, low carb, carb cycling, intermittent fasting, all kind of going together. The reason for this is because, especially for cycling females, our reproductive cycle is very sensitive to hormone levels and, and with weight loss, weight maintenance, and other health um, parameters. It's not just a matter of calories in, calories out. Um, we're not looking at things, you know, as as uh, individually. We want to kind of address them systemically and holistically. So, um, Mindy Pelts is a really good resource for more information. But I'm going to briefly go into what happens when you're doing intermittent fasting. It's good for weight loss. Um, it's good at certain times of the cycle without any limits. But um, cycling females are going to have some some need for having more carbs at certain times near ovulation and the week before the period. These correspond to uh, days around 10 through 16, which day one is the day of your the first day of your period if you are um, just learning about all of this. And then around days 21 through 28 or 30, depending on the length of your cycle. So the hormone cascade that is being affected when we're fasting and low carb is oxytocin as the master hormone, keeping our stress levels lower, um, hugging our partner and our pets, and uh, just keeping a good like mentality for Simon. Um, you know, I often spend time with this guy and it helps me a lot. And then just doing activities like Gentle exercise and mindfulness can really help to lower our cortisol level and raise our, our oxytocin. Cortisol is the next hormone that is in control of, of the next levels um, and keeping our stress levels, again, with raising oxytocin and lowering cortisol, you know, as we just mentioned. But then the next hormone that's directly affected is often insulin. Now insulin, you know, it can be affected by stress and also diet, as we know. But one of the best ways to affect insulin levels is through fasting. And so that's why I do incorporate intermittent fasting. And I do definitely see that help with weight control and things like hormone um, levels and, and other um, downstream effects. And the, um, the next things after insulin are, again, our sex hormones like estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. So um, just some basic points are keeping your carbs moderate and not too low. Um, Mindy does mention about 50 grams per day can slow your thyroid and metabolism and kind of backfire if you're trying to lose weight. We need these carbs around days 10 through 16 and around days 21 through 30 for making enough progesterone, which is critical for mood, sleep, and for our uh, microbiome health in the gut. And these are all things that also play into our diet and our um, ability to lose weight or maintain our weight. So if you have further questions, I'd like to you know, go into more detail at another time. And I appreciate you joining in. Thanks.